Good morning and happy Monday. Monday, December 28th, Monday after Christmas. And so I trust that each of you had a wonderful Christmas holiday with your family. You know, I just witnessed a beautiful sky, just um, the dawning of a new day reflecting up above and it was really beautiful seeing the sun kind of peeking through the clouds and feels a little cooler this morning you know uh, this past weekend experiencing 70 degree temperatures here on the east coast something that uh, we don't often experience in December but it was a beautiful weekend beautiful holiday and I know that some folks were in the kitchen cooking in the heat of the oven and the temperature outside clashing together uh, made for um, somewhat uncomfortable uh, feeling moving around the house and getting things done but I tell you you know sometimes we ask for relief from those high uh, heating bills when we get that bill in the mail or email however it comes to you and you know we ask for relief and so you never know how the prayer or the request is going to be answered so at any rate I shared something with uh, my Monday morning crew that I send out a message to uh, every Monday morning and I know that some of you watching or listening may have heard that message if you're on that distribution but just wanted to share something you know last week I was in the grocery store and I was doing some final preparation getting some dinner things and standing in line just reflecting on 2015 and recognizing that financially I wasn't really where I wanted to be and so as I started thinking about that and thinking about the different things that had to be done and really wasn't quite sure um, how all of it was going to work out. You know, there's that feeling that kind of sets into your stomach and, you know, you're just like, oh my goodness, you know, what am I going to do? How am I going to handle this? You know, not really sure how that's going to work out. And so you get that feeling of um, kind of being down for a minute. And as I stood there, I realized that, okay, if I don't turn this around, if I don't change this feeling, then what's going to happen is I'm going to be focused more on that then really what the beauty of this holiday season is all about. And so as I walked out to my car, I literally had to, to, to talk to myself, you know, to basically say, you know what, there's too much to be thankful for. You're not gonna go down this road, you know, and just talking myself through that. And I wanted to share that because sometimes we go through those moments where we're just kind of getting in a little bit of a funk and that funk just really takes us away from all the things that we have to be grateful for. You know, everything may not be perfect. Everything may not be the way we want it to be. Everything may not look like it's going to line up the way that we need to. But in a moment of focusing on gratitude, it changes everything. And I don't mean changing the situation right away, but it changes everything within you you know, within your spirit, your mindset, just basically focusing on the good and not the negative. And I know it sounds like, okay, it's, you know, easier said than done. Oh, that doesn't work. But I tell you what, if on this week you're finding yourself in that same place, I want you to try it. Just try it and, and keep doing it and see how you feel. Um, I went to my next destination and I was picking up a few small items and happened to be putting some things in the cart and knew that I wasn't going to get everything that was in the cart. I was just kind of thinking through what I was doing and so I started putting some things back and when I looked in my cart, what I looked at was a scarf and two bottles of fingernail polish for my daughter and when I looked at it, the two, all the colors just matched perfectly. And I hadn't intended that. It was just me putting stuff in the cart and kind of seeing what I was going to get, what I was going to put back. And when I looked down and I saw that, I realized how beautiful the colors look together. And it just made me smile. I mean, I really literally had to chuckle to myself because it was one of those things that just popped out at me like, wow, you know, that really looks good together. And so in that moment, I felt like this was truly a way that the Creator 
um, just reminded me, you know, look at this beauty. It's simple. Yes, it's a scarf and it's a couple bottles of fingernail polish, but look at how beautiful it looks together. And it's just one of those things that says, you know what? I got you. You know, I I'm with you. I I'm not going to leave you by yourself to figure it all out. You know, you try to figure it out. It's already worked out. You just have to relax and just focus on what I've put in front of you that makes you smile. And so I just wanted to share that. You know, I I'm saying this, you know, in a manner of speaking as if the creator is speaking to me. I'm not trying to impart my beliefs on anyone. But it's just amazing how we get those little nuggets. So whatever those nuggets may be for you, just be open to them. They're there. We just have to be mindful of them and just recognize them and just, you know, allow it to bring a smile to your face, you know, in the midst of anything that you may be dealing with right now, in the midst of you trying to figure out, okay, I'm going to end 2015 and start 2016 with a what? A bang, a new mindset, um, new goals, new ideas, you know, new conversations, new friends, new relationships, whatever it is. And I encourage you over this week to just look at how your 2016 is going to look for you. Um, and I know that it's going to be a good one for me. And I'm sure that uh, if you believe it, that it will be a good one for you as well. So just wanted to spend a couple moments with you this morning. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to sharing another message with you in the near future. Take care, my friend.